So Amazon has a pretty low track record uh, for me in terms of movies that pique my interest. There were two movies last year that piqued my interest that Amazon released. Uh, Without Remorse, that's a Tom Clancy movie that sucked with Michael B. Jordan, uh, that had everything lined up to be a great movie and was incredibly disappointing. Uh, And The Tomorrow War, which uh, I didn't even get through. There's not a review of The Tomorrow War on my on my channel because I got about 20 minutes in and I was like, this is awful, and I stopped watching it. So if you want me to review that, let me know, and maybe I'll revisit it. Um, so needless to say, I have not opened Amazon Prime Video since July. I haven't opened Amazon Prime Video since I moved into this house. That was months ago. Um, and so I was looking at trailers for movies coming out this week, and I saw this trailer, and I was like, okay. I guess I'll watch it. I Want You Back was released in 2022. It was written by Elizabeth Berger and uh, Isaac Aptiker and directed by Jason Orley, who I was trying to remember where I knew that name from. And it's the guy that directed Big Time Adolescence. And I was like, ah, nice. I love Big Time Adolescence. I'm a huge sucker for Big Time Ad- Adolescence. I really liked it a whole lot. Anyway, we're talking about we're talking about I Want You Back, which no spoilers, but the general idea is it revolves around two couples. Well, I guess three couple. All right. There are two couples in the beginning who split. They break up. That's the first five minutes of the film. They break up. Then they meet each other. The One of the boys and one of the girls from each of the thing meet each other. And they're like, hey, we like those people. We'd like to get back with them. Help me. So they help each other try to get the other person to unfall in love with the person they had just fallen in love with. They go back to the person they just broke up with. And... Uh, challenges ensue and through the course of the film of course as is the nature of rom-coms the two people that were trying to get the other two people to unfall in love with each other to fall back in love with them fall in love with each other which whoa, that was a complicated sentence i really hope that that was the correct sentence but i'm gonna go with it and i think you know what i'm talking about anyway uh where to start with this film um first of all i should say generally um i loved this movie i thought it was great i had a great time i woke up at eight o'clock this morning to watch it and i didn't get home till two in the morning last night so uh needless to say i was hoping it was going to be entertaining because if it wasn't i was going to fall asleep um there was not a moment in this film where i wanted to fall asleep i was engaged and entertained the entire way through i think this movie is one of the funnier rom-coms i have ever seen um to be fair i haven't seen a lot of rom-coms i like them a lot i just haven't seen them a lot um but like crazy stupid love is one that i've seen and i think it's a good movie i don't think it's great This beats it, in my opinion. This movie is just entrancingly funny the entire way through. There's never a moment where I'm like, oh, this is like a bad movie. It's a bad comedy. Because what it really is, is it's not a comedy. It is a drama, is what I would call it. It is a romantic drama with comedy sprinkled in it. Because there are so many moments in this movie where you feel for the main characters and you understand what's going on the whole time. It is not subtle. It tells you what you need to know. It's like, hey... You know what's up. They're going to love each other by the end. Just just stick with it. And like, okay, I will. That's pretty... It literally almost... Literally, it almost literally will shove that in your face. Like, I'm not even joking. And I was okay with it. And the ending is incredibly cheesy. And that's all I needed from it. Really was like... I was sitting here and I'm like, okay, at some point, they have to get together. That's just how it's got to be. It's how every rom-com works. It's not even a spoiler. It's a formula. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, how are they going to wrap this up? Because it has to be entrancing. There's a scene on a boat. There's a whole sequence on a boat that honestly I didn't really like. Made me a little uncomfortable. uh, And it made me just feel like, uh, I really would like this to move on a little bit. Um, And then it does. And it gets better. There are many moments in the film that kind of feel like that weight. There are a lot of moments where we focus on characters we don't care about. That's kind of where the film falters, and it's not a lot. It doesn't happen all the time. It's like two or three moments where I was sitting here, like, I wasn't, like, going to fall asleep or anything, but I'm like, this needs to move a little faster. It is almost two hours long, which is perhaps a little too long for a rom-com, but it works mainly due to Charlie Day and Jenny, um, 
Jenny Slater, who have just this beautiful chemistry together that evolves and changes over the course of the film. We start off where they're like kind of these acquaintances who barely know each other. And we see them progress and then there's a scene definitively in the middle where um, she's like, hey, I think you should actually go on and start your own business. That'd be good for you. I think you could do it. It's just genuine advice. And he responds by giving her a book on how to start her life. And it's just this beautiful little moment where you kind of see the switch from like friends to like best friends. And then of course by the end into lovers. But like that's an important moment in any relationship is when you go from, you know, just being friends with someone to knowing that they are someone that they can trust and someone that they, you know, want to help and, and, and you want to help each other. And that's a beautiful moment in any like real life relationship. But in a movie, it's hard to show that point, right? Because the immediate moment, the immediate thought from that second, whenever you see that in a comedy or, or in a romantic drama, is the immediate moment when that happens, your first thought is not like, ah, they're like really close friends, they trust each other. No, it is always, they love each other and they're going to date each other and they're gonna to get together. That's not what this point in this film did for me. This point in this film showed me that they know what they're doing. They're like, hey, we are, we trust each other. We're really good friends. And that's what they, they did. And it didn't feel like it was anything more. And I appreciate that honesty and it really felt honest. And a lot of, again, has to do with Charlie Day and Jenny Slater, who are just fantastic. Charlie Day is hilarious in this film, and, and so is Jenny Slater, who has surprised me, because I don't know anything about her. But the, what really got me into this movie was Charlie Day. I was like, okay, I guess I'll watch it because Johnny Day's in it. And, I'm sorry, Charlie Day, I think I said Johnny Day. Charlie Day. Um, and I was, I don't know, I'm really happy I watched it, because it started off my day on this ultra-positive note. Um, plus, Pete Davidson is in it, for like, he's got like, two minutes of screen time and all he does is jump into a freaking hot tub from a roof and it's brilliant it's hilarious i love pete davidson so i thought that was really really sweet and nice um but the movie as, as a whole works very well it worked way better than i thought it was going to it is just a beautiful fun ride um and if you have two hours to spare i highly recommend you check this movie out it is on amazon prime video um it's just beautiful it's funny and it feels like one of the more honest rom-coms I've ever seen. However, it is still cheesy, so it's still within the formula. Like, nothing surprised me about the film, really. Um, it followed the formula pretty much note by note, but that's okay because it just felt honest, and that's really all you need in a movie like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give I Want You Back an A minus. Have you guys seen I Want You Back? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about it. Um, I feel like this is gonna be kind of a movie where you either really like it or you don't, and that has to do with what you liked with other rom-coms. If you like other rom-coms, you're gonna like this one. If you don't, you're not gonna like this one. It's just how it works. I'm a rom-com guy, uh, and this is one of the better ones in my opinion. I'm happy we're starting off the year with something so fresh, uh, cause last year in terms of rom-coms, there were a few. Um, uh, not a lot of them were very good. Um, in fact, almost none of them were good, but like this one is a good one. I'm, I'm happy we're starting off strong. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you do me a huge favor and just hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. Uh, it really helps me out a whole lot. It keeps the channel going, keeps the channel alive. So consider doing that, leaving a comment, liking, and sharing with friends. And as always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.